Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. The first question is, what each artifact? That's the first question. So before answering these questions, I would like to tell you where it is where it is placed. So artifact uh, <coughs> artifact is placed somewhere in SDLC cycle <coughs> under the archive se section. So code, then we do the analysis. After analysis, we do the build. After the build, you do the unit testing. Unit testing. After that, you do the packaging. After the packaging, uh, you do archive. And after archiving, you, you will do you will do the deployment. So and more many more things. So somewhere here you learn Git. Here you learn Sonar. Here you learn Maven and Gradle, and here Void uh, unit testing will cover in, in Jenkins. Packaging today I'll teach you Packer, and then here somewhere Artifact. Okay, this is where. So here you can use Artifact tree, or here you can use Nexus. Okay, so why we use Artifact tree then? So we use I artifactory for storing packages. We use artifactory for storage packages. Now you will say what type of package, what type of package you can store here. So for that we will uh, look into uh, their official documents. So here. Uh, Artifactory package supported, and here if I see that, <clears throat> can you see the list of it? So, here if you look at this, these are the types of package which can be archived means which can be stored at artifact so some of the important packages <clears throat> which we have is maven the one which i taught you uh, maven and gradle both are sharing the same type so that is not a problem you can store docker packages also somewhere it should be docker here you see if you are ubuntu packages debian packages you want to store debian okay Python packages also you can store somewhere py something like that here. Okay, puppet packages, PHP composer packages, Terraform packages which you want to store, modules and stuff like that. Vagrant boxes the one which I taught you uh, first session here with Linux that also you can store it here. So earlier it used to you know download from the different different locations you can set it up here so these are the kind of packages you can store it so are you comfortable with it all of you yeah okay so i'll just share this in this here simple so now the question we understood that what we are trying to focus today and so in that case we'll talk about artifact so artifact is a package uh, management you can say to package management these are the kind of package management so why we use for this to store this package this tool is written in java okay so the moment i say java that means many answers you have it that means you can install in windows also you can install in uh, Linux also and everywhere. Okay, 
uh, this is the company to those who develop this product uh, that is called JFlow. Okay, so it's very simple. So let's say if you don't like Artifactory, okay, because Artifactory is a paid software, but if you don't like Artifactory, then of course you should like Nexus and Archiva. Okay, so these are the competitor product, but you can use it. This Archiva is from Apache, Nexus is from the Sonar type. So earlier I was uh, keeping under the DevOps certification course uh, Nexus only, but recently we moved uh, to Artifactory. So after one or two months again, I'll move to Nexus. That way, keep switching the tools for everyone. So these are the products which we have for replacement for Artifactory. Now, here, when we talk of the architecture of Artifactory, architecture, then simple, human interact with Artifactory for two reasons, human or maybe build tool, okay, interact with the two regions, what regions? So there is an upload region, you want to upload the package and you want to download the package, simple. So these are the two regions which human interact and with Artifactory. Now Artifactory uh, here, this front end is developed in web. Okay. So basically you connect with the web, certain port which I will show you 999. 8082 or something like that earlier it was 8081 but now it's 8082 so that's a port number and uh, that's a website okay so website should be having backend also so backend is supported rdbms that means any rdbms that means if i show you um <clears throat> artifactory supported database so if you know any rdbms like mysql msql and oracle and all all these things supported here see these are the database which is supported okay so db these are the you can check this out url later So Derby is supported, MySQL is supported, Oracle is supported, SQL, MSQL is supported, PostgreSQL, MariaDB. These all are RDBMS. Okay. So that means any anyone you can use it for your production use. Now when we install the artifactory by default, Derby Wait, is sorry. The... When you say hey, when you say you know these can be used, are you talking about the back end of Artifactory? What it uses to store things? No, no, no. Not that. Uh, here, uh, when I talk about database, then I talk about the meta information, user information, permission tables, uh, you know, uh, security related, configuration related, all this. Thing. Okay, right. so that is a okay. yeah, so that is a TV. Now, then there is a data store. Okay, data store which is basically is a place where the package is being stored. Okay. RDBMS, these are the supported RDBMS. Derby is a default one and data store. So data store where the package is that one which you upload and download. Basically, you do it from the data store using the web. So where, which are the data store supported? So data store also, there's so many supports are there. So let me show you here. Into this and not this one. file store we call it data store file store 
I'm just checking out. The default is file that means same system, but it support many others also, uh, which is let me change the files to here it is. I think my search engine got changed. That's the reason it's here. It is. Huh. So this this locations file store. This is supported one. So now here file systems are there. The one which is we use for default. Uh, some more S3 you can use it. AWS S3. These are the one. Google Storage also you can use it here. Here you have Google Storage, Azure, Azure Storage. Any any object storage you can use it here and for storage. So default is file system. That means wherever you install the artifact tree that is being used. So in terms of artifact tree uh, architecture, you need to understand that this web uh, is designed in Java. Okay. Java, JSP, HTML, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and all, all these things. RDBMS, you saw that here, and data store, file store, you can saw here. So, this is the architecture. That means sometimes your organizations may have database Postgres. Most of the time, I see is Postgres. Uh, or sometimes this one, they'll be storing in the AWS or Google Cloud, depends on where your infrastructure lies. Okay. So this is the architecture. Now next question what we have here is how to install it. Okay. So before that installing, I want to show you the release versions of it. Okay, release version of it. So which are the release versions? So there they, we have community release, of course, and then we have a professional release and enterprise release. So uh, how do we see that? So, artifact tree, bleach, community versus something like that. So, this is a very good uh, URL you can refer. These are the release which you have. Rajesh, I have one question here. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Actually, a means package here means all all together means means uh means it's a application all together right package means your uh, yeah anything it can be application bundle of zip file tarball it can be anything which is uh, okay and we are means using artifactory to store that uh, that version and there only we will do the version control of that right yeah package version yeah Okay, so in that means they use uh, suggested that some uh, databases, RDBMS databases. So yeah. those RDBMS databases are part of that package, or that is used for the uh, for the infra for artifactory. No, no, no. This database uh, is used by artifactory, not for stored packages. Package is stored in the file store. Just now I talked. About. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got this, it. This this database is being used for storing meta information such as okay. uh, package versioning, such as users information, group permissions, policies, some other settings and you know, all of artifact. Okay. Because artifact is itself is a tool, right? So that requires some persistent storage. Correct. Okay. Thank you. So let us. Okay. So now. On, hey, sorry. One one question on that, right? So you know, just to understand. So if let's say we have a new get package and it has mm -hmm. let's say four versions. So artifactory is where we'll store all those four versions, and our new get will be pointing to the you know like from our Visual Studio, we'll be pointing to the artifactory location and be able to uh, get those new get packages. Is that right? Yeah. So this is you. Or this is the build tool. Build tool means your Jenkins, Maven, and all is a build tool. 
CI Jenkins CI tool, which again do the build. And Maven is a tool, a build tool. Gradle is a build tool, you know. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool dot com, or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.